And finally, my concluding remarks, I just want to say that internet shutdowns violate fundamental human rights. I cannot say that enough. And I think that it's important for um, authorities, especially um, in Ethiopia, to take urgent and concrete steps to restore internet access, which um, has been ongoing for the past two years, and to ensure that people come back online, people are able to let the world know what has happened. And also, of course, tech companies also have a responsibility to ensure that um, the concerns that governments use to justify internet shutdowns, they also take concrete steps to ensure that these concerns are addressed so we don't have governments shutting down the internet and citing the fight against misinformation or hateful content on platforms. Thank you. Thank you, Felicia. Yet we have over 6 million population in the Tigray region that have been cut off since November 2020. And when the internet is shut down, it's very concerning because there are a lot of human rights violations that happen. And it makes it extremely difficult for journalists, for human rights defenders to be able to document what is happening. And once that is not documented, then the world might not see the gravity of what is happening. Um, it also makes it extremely difficult for people to communicate with their families. And we always say that internet shutdowns don't happen on a normal day. Um, they happen when you really, really need to be connected with people. There is a conflict happening. You want to reach out to your family. You want to see how they are doing. And we've gathered stories across um, the globe, including uh, we recently published stories um, highlighting the impact of the two-year-long shutdown on the people of Tigray. And these stories cut across. Um, people have, have not been able to communicate with their families for years until they don't even know where they are. Um, like, education has just crashed. The health system is also being impacted. And these are the impacts that we are seeing across the globe, unfortunately. And prolonged internet shutdowns amplify these impacts, and they are disproportionate and they violate the essential rights that we are all promoting as 